the beginning, it was trying to connect people to nature if maybe that was perhaps lacking or missing in their life. But now I'm looking more at um, my faith, which drives me to create art, and just to speak to spiritual growth and prayer and that sort of thing. Hi, I'm Jeff Phillips and I'm an oil painter. I try to make artwork that is uplifting, that people, after they view it, they come away feeling um, energized or, or positive, uplifted. I grew up in Lumsden, Saskatchewan. And I went to the University of Regina to study fine arts, where I got my Bachelor of Fine Arts degree and um, met my wife in Calgary and we were looking for a place to lay down roots and start um, a family. So we decided on Maple Creek and we moved here about 10 years ago. Being the artist in residence at Cypress Hills Park for seven years really got me in touch with the landscape and um, really got me thinking about different ways of presenting the landscape. And that's why doing the plantscapes of the prairies, I, I wanted to look at that fabric, how, how it's knit together under our feet, you know, to really get people interested, because I was interested. I, I could see worlds and the interconnectivity of all these different plants and how they grow together and where to find them and what you might find, you know, growing together. For Canada's 150th, the, the Canadian government leased a uh, old Coast Guard vessel which they totally renovated and repurposed for this journey which started in um, Toronto, Canada and they sailed up around the eastern seaboard and through the Northwest Passage around Alaska and back down to Victoria. And it took about 150 days and um, I got to be an artist in residence representing our country for leg 14 of the journey which took us from Bella Bella BC down to Campbell River. So it was a really interesting experience where I really felt like I was on the forefront of Canada's um, reconciliation effort and we got to meet with all sorts of Indigenous leaders and, and talk about the subject and try to try to foster relationship and, and healing in, in our country. So it was a really unique and wonderful experience. With uh, this COVID thing, I was cooped up at home and I uh, asked online on Facebook, does anyone have any photos that I could paint? And I actually got hundreds of responses. So I started painting all these photos that got sent to me. And that kind of, it went <laughs> viral, but not, not very viral in a big way, just a, a small way. But I started painting everybody's photos and it led to commissions and it led to further work. So I've been making all these 12 inch by 12 inch, just small paintings of people's photos that they've been sending in and asking, hey, can you paint this? Or maybe you'd find this interesting. I'm also a, a mountain biking enthusiast. <laughs> so I, uh, I take my mountain bike and my, my folded up raw canvas with me and a tin of paint and a brush. And when I find what I want to paint, I, I unfurl the canvas right on the ground and I, I weigh it down with stones on the corners and the sides and I actually walk all over it. And I, I take out my tin of paint and my brush and I sketch the scene in front of me or what, whatever it is I want to paint. Painting for me is definitely my release. It's my connection to God. It's my connection to other people. It's my connection to the, the lands around me and my environment. It's, uh, it, it brings life to me. It's what makes me tick, it's what makes me go, and it what makes me grow as well. If you have program ideas that you'd like to see on Max TV Local On Demand, write us at max.local at sastel.com. Thank <laughs> you.